in today's hookup culture, it might sound unpopular to say, but if we're all objectively honest with ourselves, I think we all can agree that casual sex is really not good for anybody, men or women. Now, I know a lot of guys, you're going to disagree with this, especially if you're still stuck in your lower nature, you're stuck satisfying your lower head and, and just pleasure driven. You're not going to accept this. And I'm not mad at you because I used to be just like that. I used to be on conquest mode, so to speak, just looking for the next target, the next woman to get it in with. Whoever's down, let's party, let's get it in, right? But I asked you, for those guys that are still stuck on that. For all the women that you've had sex with, at the end of it, when it's all said and done, what did you really get out of it? Think about it. Every woman you've had sex with. And it's funny, because I actually, like last year, I took time out to write down and remember every woman that I've had sex with. And even the ones I didn't remember their names, which is kind of sad to say, but you know, I'd be like, oh, this chick from this party back in 2018 or from POF back in whatever, right? <laughs> and I'm just looking at this list and I'm looking at this, you know, I'm not gonna say the number because I'm not proud of it or anything, but I'm saying just looking at all these women that I've had sex with and I'm just like, what did I get from it? What do you get from it? Nothing besides a quick pleasure, a quick fix, right? Some of y'all have had kids from this. And, you know, if you just had sex with this woman just for the basis of the physical attraction and nothing deeper than that, you're probably not with the mother of your, your, your kids, right? So I ask again, what are you getting out of these casual encounters? Nothing besides pleasure, of course. It's the same thing as eating like some sweets, some sugary cake. Yeah, it tastes delicious in the moment. Fast forward a couple hours or a day later, your stomach might hurt. You might gain some weight, you know, you, you sugar, uh, uh, whatever, insulin spike, whatever, anything. It's negative. There's a lot of negative stuff coming along with that quick fix that you had. Was it worth it? If you're honest and real with yourself, you'd say no. It's the same thing with casual sex, man. I'm not saying sex is bad, but when it's done casually, it's really pointless. And, uh, you know, it's kind of sad, man. I think all these women that I've had, I've laid down with, some of them I, I could have seen something real with, but most of them, it was just a quick, fun thing, something to do, to feel something. And I'm going to just be honest, man. It's really just you're seeking pleasure. It's a form of addiction. If you're being real, it's a form of addiction, man. You're addicted to pleasure. And I got to say, man, when you're simply looking for pleasure just for the sake of pleasure, it will lead to pain every time, right? So I just want to point that out and make you really think about what you're doing when you're laying down with these women that in the back of your mind, you truly know you don't have any intention on anything serious with this woman. And this is something that I've recently had to come to a conclusion with and accept and I've been wanting to separate myself from these past women. Uh, well, the most recent woman, I really didn't have a, a, a plan for her, even though I told her a bunch of bullshit and I thought we could have did something. But after a while, I realized this is not the woman I, I want to build something with. And yet I still kept her around for the sake of pleasure. And I'm sure she had me around and she, she wanted something real with me, I'm sure. But she was getting her pleasure too. It was obvious. But as I'm getting older and maturing and I'm realizing the important things of life, I just had to 
slowly get out of there. I had to realize this is not this is not it. This is not the answer. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my energy. You know, your 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 semen is. I mean, of course, you shouldn't be just throwing that away. And it's really hard to accept, but man, just like most animals, bro, we should not be just out here busting nuts if we have no intention on making babies. Like if you're busting nuts for fun, like you're actually kind of killing yourself in a way. There's this book, The Multi-Orgasmic Man by Mantak Chia. And in the book, back in the day, the French had a word for ejaculation. And it's like, uh, I'm not I'm not really good at French, but it's something along the lines of uh, la petite mort or something like that, which means the little death. And they even did a study about nematodes that uh, when they're, you know, reproducing, when they're the, the males are, are putting sperm out, their lifespan was shortened compared to the ones that didn't frivolously, you know, bust off. And that's just, you know, on a smaller scale. But if you come out and zoom out to a human, it, it, it does something damaging to your body. You're taking a piece of you and giving it away to try to recreate yourself in the form of a baby with a woman. That's what it's for, period. And if you don't have any plans on doing that, I'm telling you guys, you should try your best. You should make it a mission to hold off on releasing. If you're going to have sex, at least try not to bust, which is already hard as hell. So you're probably best off to just not have sex if you don't really want to build with this woman. Right. So if you just plan on doing it casually with this woman, if you want to just if you want to have sex, do it with someone you really see a future with and you could actually have kids with. Why waste it? Why waste your seed with some chick who you you know? You know in your in the in your mind, you know you don't want anything to do with this woman. If you got her pregnant, you would be mad at yourself. So why are you even playing like that? Oh, cuz you have a condom? No. <laughs> no. The fact that you have to wear a condom should tell you, you probably shouldn't be messing with this chick. Period. Just think about that. If condoms didn't exist, I bet you would be a lot more selective with who you sleep with. I bet you would. Huh? Ain't that something? Okay. So I really want y'all to think about that before you just, just out here giving it away and just think it's a game to play with. Play with your life. Play with other people's lives. This woman, you know, these women that you're dealing with, the women I've dealt with. Can you imagine? Like, I, I feel guilty. I've, I'm sure I've damaged some of these women. I, I haven't helped make her a better woman for the next man, really. Besides maybe giving her some good game and guidance for, for her time with me. Okay, in that aspect, I maybe helped her in that way. But as far as her womb, who her womb should be reserved for her husband or her, her real man. But instead, until that guy comes into her life, she's just out here playing games and damaging her womb further, making it harder for her to connect to her future mate, right? There's so many things wrong with casual sex. It shouldn't be a thing. But yet again, we're in this hookup culture. And we got to deal with it for now. But I just want to say, man, we got to really think about these things before we just frivolously give it out and, you know, stray further from where we need to be in this in this life. So that's really all, all I wanted to point out. Make it a mission to be intentional about the women you deal with. I know I am. And it's exciting because it's easier to just spot the bullshit women versus just ignoring red flags and dealing with her because she looks good and you know the pleasure is going to be great for that moment. That temporary pleasure is going to be amazing. But as far as the actual important thing in life, as far as outside the bedroom, which is where a majority of your relationship is going to be based on, 
your conversations, you know, how you guys interact with each other. This is what's important. Sex is a, what, 10, 20 minute activity, right? Come on, man. That's, that's not important. That's a little quick fun. Maybe make a family with that. But as far as just doing it for, you know, for, for uh, doing it on a regular basis with women that you don't want to build with, come on, guys, let's stop playing, man. Let's get serious about life. It's going by quick. The clock is ticking, man. Let's, let's not waste it, all right? But I hope this wakes you up. I hope this makes you realize your worth and focus, man. Focus on your mission, man. That woman that you really want, she's coming. Just keep retaining and keep maintaining your focus. All right? I'm going to holler at you on the next one, man. Peace.